Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. And what you're looking at, this is an ever new 1.3 liter pot. And inside you can see nested the Ocelot 6. Uh, this particular Ocelot 6 is for the uh, uh, Pocket Rocket Deluxe. And while it's shown nested in the ever new 1.3 liter pot, it will also nest into mugs as small as the uh, MSR Titan Kettle shown here. So, I'm going to show you what the components are and how to assemble it to the pocket rocket stove. There are three components to the, the, this uh, Ocelot 6. There's a burner plate which is marked left, right, and the windscreen which has got a marked G on it. So, let's bring in the pocket rocket stove and show you how, it's, how you assemble it. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that the arms are twisted and opened all the way out. Then, because of the windscreen design, this is only uh, this windscreen wraps 180 degrees, so you kind of have to get your orientation as to where you want the windscreen. So the right plate just drops straight on down over the stove, pretty straightforward. The left plate drops over the stove as well, uh, but then you turn, twist the left plate about 15 degrees, and that locks the two plates together. Next, you take the winds, windscreen, and the G should be facing forward. You hook it over the far tab, next tab, and then finally the last tab. And then we want to make sure that the windscreen is tilted downward, such that these tabs touch the top end of the slots, and there you have it. Now, the advantage to this design also is... Um, because the left plate locks everything in place. Now this is completely stable. This won't fall off. It's very robust. And so to take it off, you do the reverse order. And again, this will fit a pot. Designed for pots six inches in diameter. Uh, it will also fit smaller pots. You just have to center the pot over it. And now the wider gap, is going to be a little bit less efficient, uh, but it'll still work. So let's go check out the wind tunnel testing. So here's a chart of the uh, wind tunnel results. One thing to note right away is the Pocket Rocket Deluxe in an 8 mile an hour wind uh, just really won't boil water. Uh, if you take a look at it, the flames barely touch the pot and uh, you can get a boil, but it's probably going to take 20 minutes or so and consume you know, 30 grams of fuel or something like that. With the Ocelot 6 windscreen in place, you can see that the flames stay pretty coupled to the, uh, the pot. And I ran it at uh, high, medium, and low. An interesting thing to note that is at high burn rates, and this is like getting a boil in a little over two minutes, actually uh, performs better, has higher efficiency. And I believe that's because it builds up the internal pressure to keep the flames coupled to the pot. In no wind conditions, you can see that the Pocket Rocket Deluxe, it'll bring 500 milliliters to boil using about 7 grams of fuel. In an 8 mile an hour wind, uh, the fuel consumption goes up by about 5 grams, so you're in about the 12 gram range. Now keep in mind, with no windscreen, you're really not going to get a boil. So this is a pretty, pretty good achievement here. So come visit us at www.flatcatgear.com.